All right, if you saw the last uh, part of this, this first part, I mean, um, I dug out, was trying to dig out that big old walnut stump there, and um, I got it kind of loose with the little trencher, and uh, so finally I decided to hook the truck up to it and try to yank it out, and you know, it was still a pretty big, heavy stump in there, and uh, even with four-wheel drive, I had kind of a hard time, but luckily it, um, you know, it started coming out. It broke apart a little bit because uh, back in the beginning before I, you know, started this, I took a chainsaw and tried to put three slits into it. And there you can see it broke at one of the uh, slits there. So it, I was lucky I did that and, you know, I was able to get it out in three pieces. Um, they still were pretty good sized chunks of root, you can see, and the truck still had a kind of hard time yanking them out. They were buried pretty deep, but, um, you know, I finally did get them out of there and uh, got that whole area ready to go. Um, now I just have to pressure wash them and try to figure out how to get all the uh, dirt and rocks out of them to see if I can get any usable wood out of them. But, um, you know, it's kind of a mess over there. And I just took the little John Deere and, you know, filled that in and leveled it off and graded it down a little bit. And then it was time to really get out the uh, trencher and put that thing to work so I could uh, start moving, you know, most of the dirt. You can see I wound up moving probably uh, four feet, three to four feet off the top of that hill in the backyard, which um, I kind of didn't expect to have to move that much in the beginning. But to get everything tapered down in the yard for drainage, um, I wound up, you know, having to take out a little more than I, I originally thought I was gonna. So this is where this little trencher really comes in handy. It's um, it's just been an amazing little tool I've had. Uh, I've got a lot of hours on it now, and I've basically had no problems whatsoever with it. Um, you know, you have to just bite off a little bit less with it sometimes, and it, it can actually handle. And if you run into roots and stuff like that, it you know, it'll pull it up a little bit and move it around when you're digging with it. But um, these are the kind of conditions that it really likes to work in. And there was, there was really no way for my little John Deere to dig out all this dirt and, um, you know, push the blade in there or the bucket in there and be able to scoop it out. So this trencher really did come in handy. I'm able to um, just kind of set the grade with it and loosen everything. And, um, you know, you can see pretty easily move it around. And I finally did get all the hoses switched around on the control valves on the trencher here so that it's um, easy for my brain to remember exactly which way to push or pull a lever. So I, you, know, you can see I'm, I'm pretty much uh, a lot smoother with it now than I was before. Now, um, you know, some of this is being run in real fast motion just to speed it up a little bit. I wish it would run that fast, but um, it's basically just, uh, you know, just a little a little slow machine but it does get the job done and there probably would have been no way that I could have uh, moved all this dirt without it so um, I'm kind of guesstimating that uh, I had to dig out probably at least 300 cubic yards of dirt with it um, it turned into a much bigger project than I had originally estimated like I said and um, this trencher really did come in handy so I was able to, you know, just loosen everything up to the grade and um, kind of separate a little bit of the, the bottom dirt and the topsoil out so I could, you know, start moving it and filling it up above. Uh, and that's kind of smoke you see out of a tractor when you don't let it warm up. I just started it up and started digging with it there. And you can see it does put out a puff of smoke. But um, this little John Deere did, did do several thousand trips across the yard uh you know moving the dirt um i think you know it's probably about two feet deep in the, what was a hollow spot up there before now and the, the bucket on the john deere i think it holds a little over five cubic foot so you know you're talking like four trips to the yard with it so it's um you know it's a pretty slow process but you know it's not bad it's kind of relaxing um so, you know, there it is. I just had to, you know, take each bucket one at a time and start distributing it around. And you'll start to see some piles um, pile up where I've kind of taken a pile of the topsoil to be spread later. So hopefully I don't have to buy too much of it in the spring. So um, the one good thing about this little deer is uh, 
I was just running it at, you know, maybe 1400 RPM when I was doing this. And the darn thing wound up getting um, about almost three and a half hours of runtime to every gallon of diesel that I used, which I thought was really um, pretty amazing for, you know, a tractor of this size. And, you know, there you can see that's probably about maybe five and a half, six cubic foot. That's all the bucket will hold. But, um, you know, you make enough trips and eventually it'll all be moved. And I, you know, basically have to say that uh, this little trencher and, you know, John Deere have been a real great combination for working together on a job like this. There you can see I'm starting to, you know, make a little more progress and get things graded out. And um, now I took the trencher over onto the um, the other side there by the where the big maples are and stuff. And just started uh, trying to get the grade leveled or tapered downhill through there. So um, this here is a, a lot of topsoil and stuff that I'm taking off first. So I'm just, like I said, putting piles all around just so that... Um, I can spread it later and hopefully, um, you know, wind up with enough in the end or pretty close to enough. So, um, here it is, uh, just trying to operate the, uh, trencher with one hand and hold on to the camera just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like with this little guy and it didn't work so good because, uh, you know, it, it, it basically takes two hands to operate it and, uh, it, um, it gets a little confusing when you try to do things differently, but, um, you know, pretty much you can see it's just a, you know, it's a slow little digger, but it does get the job done, and, um, it will rip out quite a, quite a chunk of soil, you know, when it's doing it, and I did have a couple big, you know, probably like four or five hundred pound rocks that I had to dig out also, and, uh, it had no problem with them. I just have to, um, you know, make, make a, uh, a claw in there to be able to grip and pick up stuff like that in the future. So hopefully I'll, you know, I'm going to be doing a video of adding a thumb on it sometime this fall. So there it is, a lot more of the topsoil coming out and, um, you know, now I'm just kind of trying to take out that chunk in the middle between the, the two sides that I started to grade that down and same thing, the trencher got, you know, many hours of work out here. I probably, uh, Probably got a total of 10 hours on it on, you know, 10, 10, 11 hours on it for this entire job, I'm thinking. So it wasn't something quick, but, you know, it was the only way to get through the roots and stuff. Because my little John Deere just, just won't push and, you know, move a root or a rock or anything. It just stops dead. So once you loosen it up and put it in piles, it's a, it makes it an easy job for it. And it's, you know, it's funny because I see a lot of comments in my other videos with this trencher about, oh, you should have got a backhoe for the John Deere or you should have, you know, got a full-size backhoe or something. But um, actually, I'm very happy with this. And um, it turns out that this thing actually has probably twice the reach almost of what that little John Deere backhoe has. Um, you can see it's really got a real nice reach on it and everything. And um puts no no extra strain on the tractor or anything so I'm really uh, I'm really very happy that I went this way and um, it is doing everything that I bought it to do and you know I've gotten out probably 10 stumps with it so far and um, you know now I'm kind of digging out this this whole uh, area of my yard and you know in the future I've got another 10 12 stumps to take out and um, I just have to clean up around the edges of a pond and stuff like that. So it's going to get a good workout. And, um, you know, it's, it's been good so far with no problems. And, you know, in the near future, I'm going to do some upgrades to it. I, uh, I plan on putting, like, a roll cage around it next. Just, um, just with, like, a roof over it for a sun shield to keep me from getting fried when I'm out in the sun. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing is trying to figure out how to add um, an alternator on it or something like that so I can put lights on it to work at night um, because you're pretty much limited uh, you know and it turns out that night is the coolest part and uh, usually the bugs aren't around that bad at night time either so and I'm going to be working on that next but um, you, know, you can pretty much see that I've been you know 
getting a lot of use out of it, and I really haven't had any issues with mine yet. Um, I mean, I have heard some things from other people that have had some problems, but um, mine's been trouble-free. So there it is, a little bit at a time, and uh, you know, I'm starting to, to get back into that left corner there, and then I just have to um, take it, and uh, there you see I'm all the way over on the right-hand side there now, starting to work into those trees over there and um, this area here I really have to um, starting to um, taper up the bank so that it'll blend into that area without taking out too many of the um, roots from those big maple trees which really are you know my main source for sap for making syrup in the uh, fall in the winter I mean so you know pretty much I just thought I'd uh, you know put this video together and kind of share with you where I am on this project so far and you know how I've made out with all my little toys here and it's been it's been going good and you know there it is it's uh, starting to get to pile the topsoil spread around and stuff and you know then I got to the point where I'm taking the uh, just taking the loader bucket and back blade and spreading that topsoil and just doing a little bit at a time and I just keep going over and over again over it again to um, you know get it to pack down somewhat um, what I'm gonna do is this probably is gonna be about it for for this fall and I'm just gonna let it cycle through the winter the you know the frost cycle and stuff and then I'll probably do the final leveling of it and rolling of it in the spring before I put some grass seed in so you know this is probably as far as I'm going to go this fall and you know next spring I'll probably do a video uh, putting in some additional drainage pipes and some drains from the garden and whatnot also just to make sure that that area stays dry but you know the, using the back of the blade like that really helps spread stuff out and you know pack it down so I'm starting to get some of that you know spread and I did do a lot of this work at night too with the um, that big light the LED that I put on the tractor which really uh, made it nice that you know gave me more working hours in a day so that was a real great addition to the tractor and there you see it's starting to get everything tapered down and you know there's some still some spots I have to go back through some high spots and stuff and you know take the, the high little high spots off with the um, that little box scraper that I've got behind the tractor and that works real good it's got a couple a couple little teeth on it that dig in and break it up and you know lets you take an inch or two off at a time and just you know slowly get everything leveled real good so there it is uh, you can see it's turned into a much bigger project than I thought it was but as you can see everything's tapered now that uh, swimming pool in the middle of the yard is gone at hollow spot and everything so I'm hoping this will solve a lot of my drainage problems that we ran into this year so I, you know this is I just thought I'd share this and um, you know this is kind of where I stand right now and um, like I said the next video about it will probably be in the spring when I do the final grading and you know putting in the drainage pipes and whatnot I hope I didn't bore you too much with this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.